All right, since you all deserve it, I have three more examples that can help you with simplifying radicals. We have the square root of 48. We will find our perfect square factors in that radicand and factor them out. We have a fraction in the radical in the next example, the square root of 45 over 5. And in number three, we've got radicals in the denominator. Yikes. Okay, so let's address all of these situations and let's see what we can do. For the square root of 48, we can factor this in a couple different ways. There are multiple approaches we can take. The approach I'm going to take is probably not very efficient. I apologize for not being efficient, but this will help you because I'm guessing that some of you will maybe not be as efficient as you should. Breaking down 48, we should break it down as the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. Most of us in the room wouldn't think to do the square root of 16 times the square root of 3. Most of us are going to say 48, that's 8 times 6. And that's fine, let's do 8 times 6. The square root of 6 and the square root of 8. Well, multiplying those together, neither one is a perfect square. Ugh. But I do know that I can rewrite these in even smaller terms. There's the square root of 6, the square root of 3 times the square root of 2. The square root of 8, that's the square root of 2 times the square root of 4. Oh, I can take the square root of 4. That's good, good stuff. So let me do that. The square root of 48 is equal to the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 times 2. All right. Oh, gosh, but we're not done yet. We've got all of these to put together. Wait a second. I've got a square root of 2 times the square root of 2 in here. We know that that is going to give us a square root of 4. Square root of 3 times square root of 4 times 2. That means that my radical 48 here is equal to the square root of 3 times 2 times 2. The way that we write this is we put the cons I'm sorry, the, uh, the rational coefficients in front of, uh, or I'm sorry, the rational factors in front of the irrational factors. All right, so we will do 2 times 2 gives me 4. The square root of 3 doesn't have another radical, so we will write that as the square root of 3. Now, the more efficient process for doing this would be to say, what if I made this the square root of 16 times the square root of 3? The square root of 16 times the square root of 3, that would save us a whole lot of work. Be efficient. Know the multiples of your perfect squares. Next example, the square root of 45 over 5. Mr. Hibbett, can we just divide that? Absolutely, why not? The square root of 45 fifths is going to be the square root of 9. That's 3. That's great. This is going to work out nice and fancy. Nothing too particular to do. If you can simplify the fraction on the inside, do it. Here, the square root of 12 over the square root of 15. Ugh. Let's see if we can rewrite this as one giant fraction and if we can simplify what's on the inside. Well, these have a common factor of 3 on top and bottom. So I can divide uh, the numerator by 3, the denominator by 3. That's the square root of 3 over 3 times 4 over 5. Well, this is just 1. Okay, So we have the square root of 4 fifths. Now, what we're going to do with that is we're going to take our square root of 12, square root of 15, and we're going to rewrite this as the square root of 4 over the square root of 5. Now, the square root of 4 I can do. That's 2. But the square root of 5 is an irrational number. It can't be simplified any better. We need to rationalize the denominator. No radicals in the denominator. So, we will multiply by 1. But this 1 is going to look a little bit funny compared to the one that you're used to seeing. This one is represented as the denominator over itself. Any number divided by itself is equal to one. So two divided by the square root of five, multiplied by radical five over radical five is, multiply the numerators, two radical five, over, multiply the denominators, the square root of 25. There's our final answer. Two radical five over five. Another way to say that would be 2 fifths times the square root of 5.